Hey guys, it's Leah. I'm here today with my niece, Scarlett. Hi. Okay, so um, like I said from the previous video, we're going to be going through and trying to put some stuff inside Dad's refrigerator that's vegan from uh, the local grocery store here in town in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. It's Kroger. So everyone thinks that you can't find vegan food in, you know, kind of smaller towns in the Midwest, but I'm here to prove that wrong. So we're going to start going through the food. Um, like I said before, um, I like Gardein products and they have Gardein at this Kroger even though it is small and the organic section of the produce department is laughable, but in any case you can find this stuff. So this is a good start. Um, I tried to get some stuff that I felt like was going to be easy for dad to fix because he's kind of hesitant to eat vegan food. He can hear me right now. He's hesitant to eat vegan food. He says not really just because he thinks that it's going to take a lot of preparation, so we're trying to get him some stuff that's easy for him to eat, right? Yeah. yeah. So that being said, that's my justification for some of the things I'm going to be showing you because it's not typically the stuff that I usually would buy, but you know, a little easy like step into vegan food and he's not feeling very good, so he needs some veggies. That's why I got some, uh, I'm going to make some uh, baked eggplant tonight and a couple of other things, but... I'll show you some of the stuff that I feel like is really notable from over at the Kroger. Um, I found this. Amy's has got a lot of really good stuff. Tons of products in the frozen aisle. So if your thing is, you know, eating like quick, on the go, easy to eat meals, then just FYI, you can find all of this good stuff at your local grocery department or grocery store. So Amy's has a lot of really great stuff. That's what all of this is. Um, just check on the back. Amy's is really good about marking things vegan. It's not super obvious on the front. I wish it was. I wish it said vegan real big on the front, but maybe there's something to that. Maybe people wouldn't get it because they'd be afraid to try something that was vegan. But you can find that it does say vegan right there under ingredients on the back. <laughs> I'm still backwards on this. But um Easy, super, super easy. Just turn around, look at the ingredients, which is what you should do when you're looking at your things that you're buying to put in your body anyway. So there's all those things. Um, I did find this in the fresh stuff. Uh, Tofurky makes these things. I've talked about this on my Instagram page. I'm not sure if I picked these up from Whole Foods the other day because I think I still had a lot of them. But um, these are great. I'm going to make a chicken salad. I'll post pictures of this on Instagram. Um, I think I've made my chicken salad for you before. I'm not sure. It's been a while with grapes yeah. and stuff in it. It's good. I've never used this though. I've used Beyond Meat, so we'll try. This is a new product. It's really good. Let's see. More frozen stuff. More teriyaki bowl, you know, vegetable lasagna, stuff like this. Easy to eat, so. And let's see. Oh, I found these. Um, Enjoy Life is allergy-friendly stuff, so um, I've not really done a whole lot of uh, research into what they have, but um, dad likes cookies, so this is what I got. Um, soft baked double chocolate brownie cookies. And they don't have, and they're free of a lot of things too, actually. Like I said, they're, their whole thing is that they're allergy friendly. So they've got like no nuts, no you know wheat, dairy, a bunch of stuff, which you know, a lot of things that are vegan are allergy friendly. So, you know, if, um, if maybe you have a uh, skin condition or something like that, then sometimes, you know, I suggest to people, hey, try cutting like eggs out of your diet. I know when I gave up eggs, I got rid of some, uh, you know, I people complain about like that bumpiness on their arms. I know a lot of girls have that. And I, when I cut eggs, that went away. So um, I can't say that for everyone. I don't know what that's an allergy because of, but, um, and I'm not a doctor, but I can attest to the fact that when I went vegan, that stuff, you know, isn't on my arms anymore. So something good to try. It might be an allergy, but um, let's see what else we got. Oh, I found these. These look awesome. Um, Kathleen's, never even heard of them before, but it's muesli. So um, super, super easy breakfast food. This is vegan as a base. I mean, the ingredients are very, very simple. It's just oats and nuts and hemp seeds and chia seeds. I mean, it looks looks really really good to me all you have to do is put milk in it apparently and let it sit for five minutes so a little almond milk soy milk in this easy peasy breakfast that looks good right yeah yeah <laughs> okay cool a couple other things that I got oh these are really good um 
I love these. If you like falafels, these are so good. Um, I highly suggest these if you want to keep stuff in your refrigerator that's really easy to eat. This is super, super good. They just taste great. Let's see what else we got. Our healthy nut mix. A, oh yeah. I was talking about Sweet Earth the other day. These are the breakfast burritos that they have that I really love. I love these. These are absolutely fantastic. They've got 17 grams of protein in one to 280 calories. That's a pretty decent amount of protein for the amount of calories that you get. That's just, that's one meal. So this is something that you can find at the local grocery store. So I would suggest checking it out. Um, I did find these in the like natural organic kind of section. Most of the stuff that I have here, that's where it came from. So don't be intimidated. Go to that section. The stuff is not more expensive as a whole. Um, I demonstrated that today to my dad by showing him that he had this cereal that he wanted and uh, we went over to the natural organic section, you know, thinking, you know, it was going to be a dollar more or something. It was actually cheaper than the one that he wanted to get from the regular section. So just do a cost comparison. You know, if you're intimidated because you think it's going to make, it's going to cost more then you don't know that until you actually check. So just check, try to, try to go for being healthy and you know, eat whole foods as much as you possibly can. Okay, let's see. Got lots of other fresh veggies. Asparagus. I'm going to make a risotto. I found a recipe on Instagram that I'll share with you from an awesome person in um, Italy, I think. This girl's from Italy. So, we'll, uh, I'll post that recipe. I know, I think I lost some, didn't I? I'll find it. Oh, I'm so stoked about this. Kroger has Dave's bread now. Crazy. I know, you just, uh, I'm telling you, the Kroger that I have in here in my hometown is really small in comparison. It's not a Kroger marketplace or anything. Thanks, Scarlett. So, I would have had no idea that they would have had Dave's bread. I, I actually would, I would never have thought that they would have had this good bread. And this bread is amazing. It's so good. If you haven't tried it, you have to try it. The bread is, it's delicious. Thank you. Oh, it's just a stock. Stitch actually loves these. We'll give that to Stitch as a treat. My dog loves broccoli. He eats the stalks and loves it. Uh, let's see. Oh, these are really, really good. These are tasty. If you haven't had Morning Stars riblets, these are really tasty. I would suggest these big time. If you're not vegan and you're like, oh, all vegan food sucks, you know, it's all broccoli. It's not all, all broccoli. That's not what we eat. Um, I mean, I love broccoli, but that's not all that I eat. This is really good. Try these. I suggest it. They're really good. If you like barbecue, you'll like this. Let's see. And tell me if you don't. I'm interested to see why. You know, I've, everyone I've ever given this to has told me that they liked them. So, Dad said he eats sausage and tater tots in the morning for breakfast. So, we got these potato puffs. These are vegan. Got them simple truth. I don't know. It looked a little more healthy than the other stuff. So, I got these. Uh, let's see. And he likes sausage in the morning. And I've talked about this a lot on my Instagram. I love this sausage, it is really, really good. Uh, I'm probably gonna mispronounce it, but Eves, um, Y-V-E-S, that's another brand that has a type of a sausage that I really, really like. Dad said he wants something he can throw inside the oven. I guess that's how he usually cooks his meals in the morning. So yeah, I usually just try to see like, what do you eat? And you know, let's try to find a vegan alternative because you know, we're trying to find something that's, I mean, this has zero fat in it, so that's great. But um, yeah, I highly suggest this. Try this out, it's really good. I, I usually saute it so in olive oil, so try that out. Let's see what else. Making a risotto tonight, so I picked up some rice. That's what the asparagus is for. And last but not least, banana babies. Dad wanted ice cream and I, <laughs> I picked up these instead. Um, normally I go with, uh, we like tofu cuties, don't we? Tofuti yeah. cuties are delicious. I didn't get them this time though because I would eat all of them. We would eat all of them. You would eat all of them, <laughs> yeah. actually. You would eat the whole package. Yeah. So we didn't get Tofuti cuties. We got banana babies. And make sure you get the dark chocolate ones if you're wanting to be vegan because the um, they have milk chocolate. So be aware that these are delicious. Um, be careful though because they're really hard. So I'd let them sit for like a minute after you get them out of the freezer because otherwise you might break it too. <laughs> it's a frozen yeah. banana, people. It's just... You know it's in its nature so these are great that's all we got today um 
we could have gotten a lot more. I'm not saying this is the only thing they had in there, but we were on kind of a small shopping trip, you know. I forgot. I didn't want to admit this, but we did get more junk food. We got more cookies and chocolate. <laughs> Dad likes cookies and chocolate. I'm gonna get him vegan cookies and chocolate. If I can prevent him from eating stuff with milk in it, then I'll do what I can. So here's this. Um, but that's all we got today, guys. So we are here to show you that you can shop vegan anywhere, okay? This is Lawrenceburg, Indiana. It's a small town and there's tons of stuff here. So now you know, now you have to go try some vegan food at your local grocery store and tell us how you think it tastes, right? Get back to us. Okay. Thanks and love ya.